Hey guys, it's me, Miss Kelly, and today I thought we would do a little uh, learning together with a PowerPoint. Um, I am going to ask that you take notes, and it may be easiest to take notes on paper um, because it will may be hard to watch this and take notes on your computer. So whatever you choose to do, I hope everyone is having a good day today. These uh, notes are given for Wednesday, April 1st. I know it's April Fool's Day, but we don't have to be the fools, right? Um, we're going to go through some vocabulary words, and we are addressing why do I believe what I do. I know that on Monday you checked out our civics contract and responded to that, and yesterday you went through the values worksheet and a little reflection on what your personal values are. Now we're moving to understand what a bias is or what our personal per, personal stereotype perceptions are and things like that. So we're just going to say, why do we believe what we do, right? Um, I want to make sure we go over everything. It's been a hard transition to online, right? There's a lot of things to do and things are different on a daily basis. It takes a lot more self-discipline and direction, right? So I want to make sure that you have your technology updates, okay? Um, that will go over on the next page. I want to you today to take notes from this PowerPoint. We've got nine key terms, I believe, or maybe there are only uh, less on this one. I'm not sure. After you're done watching me and listening to me ramble on like I do, um, I'm going to have you go into Schoology and click on the values worksheet and there is a link there to an implicit bias test that's um, uh, done by Harvard. Now when you go on the website it's going to ask you to if you want to proceed and you're going to have to click yes I want to proceed and then it's going to ask you a lot of demographic questions like how old are you all these details Always, if you choose not to answer, you can just hit decline to answer, and you won't have to put any of your personal information in there. So don't feel obligated to do that. You don't have to do that to get to the test. Then it's going to link on the test, and then you're going to take the test, and you're going to fill out the worksheet telling me which test that you took and what you might have learned about yourself. And then tomorrow we will be doing a reflection on our own uh, personal bias, okay? So, uh, the thing that I want you to keep in uh, thoughts about during this PowerPoint is that we're going to define connections between values and beliefs and stereotypes and bias. What leads us to think the way that we do and other people to think the way that they do? What are the influences that are around us? And why is it important that we can identify these things in ourselves in order to continue to grow, uh, be uh, more receptive to others' perspectives, right? So, first of all, your iPad. You need to have new folders or dividers in Notability. This is going to be the first unit in Civics, and this unit one is called Why Do I Believe What I Believe? You're going to want to have a place to put all of your documents so that you don't lose them and so that you don't forget to turn things in, right? The, your iPad needs to be updated with the newest operating system, which is iPad Operating System 13.3.1. And every single day for all your classes now, you're going to need your iPad. The school gave you the iPad and you're going to need to keep it charged so for school hours that it will be ready to use. I know you'll be able to charge it while you're using it as well sometimes during the day because you won't have the same restrictions of sitting in the classroom. But this is your primary platform, so don't forget to plug it in at night so that you start the day off with it fully charged, okay? I want to make sure that you have downloaded all of the following apps that are pushed out to you through um, the uh, technology department, but there's Flipgrid, which you should have done your Flipgrid on Monday. 
there's WebEx, and again, WebEx is going to be the um, format that I use for you to come and have personal chats with me and have classroom opportunities to learn and interact. iMovie is a way that you can film yourself answering questions and answering certain things. Nearpod, Images, all of those apps should be on your iPads, and if they aren't, you can find them in the self-service area. If you have any questions at all, you can please send me a message in Schoology or wherever you want to ask me if I can give you directions or you have the option of the technology department as well, okay? So why do I believe what I do? First, we have to kind of determine what is a belief? Where do we start? Why, how do we form our opinions? What are at the bottom line of what we believe, right? Is it religion? Is it culture? Is it something in your family? What is a belief? And what is a value? Yesterday, you had the time to go over value worksheet and rank what was important to you and why and determine why and where did it come from and why is it important, right? So the first vocabulary word we have is belief, okay? Belief is an acceptance that something is true. What's really hard to do is actually convince someone otherwise when they believe something. So this guy's sitting at the table there saying, Pop-Tarts are ravioli, change my mind. And I mean, I guess you're going to sit down and tell them, no, Pop-Tarts aren't ravioli, right? Pop-Tarts are Pop-Tarts, ravioli's ravioli. And he may say, but they both have dough and they both cover an inside. And you will say, yeah, but one is sweet and one is not sweet. And it doesn't matter because when there's a belief, that's what people believe, right? So belief is an acceptance that something is true. When it comes to religion, you are accepting something is true. Now we're going to look at values. We talked about values yesterday, and we went through the different values, right? So a value is a person's judgment of what is important in life, right? So when we look at this next to um, this, there's honesty. Honesty is a very important value to me personally. There's faith. There's achievement, accountability. There's personal growth. People have different values. So a value is a person's judgment of what is important in life. Now, the next thing we're going to talk about is stereotype. Everybody hears stereotype, but a stereotype is an oversimplified version or belief of a person or group of people, right? And what we know is that these stereotypes exist for everybody, right? It doesn't matter if it's your gender identity, if it's your age, old people are, if it's your race, these people are, if it's whatever you assume, right? It's a, a stereotype. And it comes from like a gathering of, of, of maybe good, maybe bad qualities of a different person or a, a particular group of people. You can see the image on the screen here, stereotypical Americans, haters gonna hate, you've got the guns, things like that. Well, we know we're not all like that. So stereotypes are not always the truth, right? They're an oversimplified version or belief of a person or group of people. Okay, now we have bias. When you have a tendency, right, to have prejudice in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another, usually in a way to be unfair. So somebody may have a bias. They may have a bias toward their own race. They may say, oh, you know, I know that person's good. Oh, that person goes to my church. So I have a bias that says all the people in my church is going to be better. It doesn't really matter what the group is, but when you have a bias, it means that you prefer that group, okay? We all have biases, and they come from different places. So some things that impact your biases would be your friends, religion, your culture, your family, your location your language. You can think of how all those different things, you may say, oh, I only like English speaking people, or oh, I only like Spanish speaking people. You know, biases are just something that exist. 
So lastly, I'm just going to say, if we knew what our biases were, I want you to think to yourself, how would you possibly act differently? If you were aware all of a sudden, oh yeah, I guess I do feel that way, maybe you would take pause to think, is that a fair way to think, right? Or can I think a different way? And now I want you to go to your worksheet in um, Schoology and click on it and take the implicit bias test at the Harvard site. And then tomorrow we will work on a reflection of what you found out from that. Have a great day.